Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I already did my eyes off camera. I'm gonna start with the LA Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. I'm gonna use that to clean up under my eyes, to clean all the eyeshadow fallout. And I like to use it to cover my dark spots because I like to make sure my makeup is full coverage. I like to cover everything that's on my face. I like to use concealer first and then I'll use the foundation. I'll just go under my eyes and do the same thing like I did the other one. I just use that under to clean up everything and to sharpen my eyeliner line. So I'm going to use the cold makeup brush, foundation brush. I'm going to blend everything out. I like to take my time with just blending everything and go slowly. I don't want to wipe off all the eyeliner that I just created like a few minutes ago. So I just blend everything off, blend, blend, blend. And I love this brush. This brush is really soft. It blends everything all in one together. That's the best thing of the cold makeup brush. It blends everything. It, it will not give you no harsh lines. So now I'm going to just use the same eyeshadow um, brush. I'm going back with the blue. I'm just patting, doing tapping motions on the inner eye of my, on the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to use the LA Pro Concealer. I mean the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the color cappuccino. I like to put on some of my brush or sometimes just put on my face. Now I'll just use the cold makeup foundation brush. Now I'll just start putting it on my cheeks first and then I'll just blend it everywhere. Now I'll just put it on my nose, my forehead, and my chin and underneath my neck. Ladies always go under your neck. You like to blend everything all in one. You don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. You want to look like you're flawless and beautiful and not a drag queen. So just blend everything all together and just make sure to have no harsh line. That's all. Blend, blend, blend. That's the key to makeup. Yep. Now I'm going to be using another LA Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan for highlight. I'll use that for under my, underneath my eyes. Yes, I like to get that highlight glowing. The same thing I did with the espresso, I'm doing with the cool tan, but just for like, this is for like more highlight, to highlight your face. And then after that, I'll just do contour. I'll do my forehead, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my chin. Then I like to use my setting spray to set that. So when I blend it, it'll blend real nice when it's wet. If you blend a dry concealer on your face, it will not blur, it will not blend beautifully. It will blend very like dry. So I like it when it's wet. It's easier. It's easier for me to blend the concealer. So I use my another uh, loose powder brush to blend it instead of the beauty blender, because I feel like the brush will blend it more better than the beauty blender. Just blend everything that's there. Go under the eyes, take your time with under the eyes, because I know a lot of people have sensitive eyes. Blend, blend, blend. Don't you see how beautiful and glowy my highlight looks? Yes, yes, girl. Blend, blend, blend. Yes. The brush is way better because it blends really good. Sometimes I use a beauty blender, but this time I just like to use the brush. And I don't remember the brush name, so I just say it's a loose powder brush. I like to check to make sure everything's all blended in right. Blend the nose area so we look real nice with the contour time. Yes, there you go. Blend. Now I'm using the LA Pro Matte Powder to set the, the concealer. I'm not going to bake today, guys, because I have run out of translucent powder, so I'll get some more of that later. So right now, I'm just going to use the powder, the matte powder, because I have oily skin, so everything has to be matte, matte, matte. Just go underneath the eyes with the powder. By the way, guys, the powder name is uh, Chestnut, LA Pro Matte Chestnut Powder. Notice I'm using a lot of LA, girl cosmetics in this video hmm. and I like to put that over not over underneath the contour line I don't really put the powder on the contour because I'm going to put another powder over the contour so I'm going to put that underneath my neck 
my nose everywhere but the contour line because we're going to use a dark powder for the contour line just blend everything out now i'm going to use this duo contour palette that i got from the beauty supply store we're going to be using the dark shade with the cold makeup contour brush i really love the, the brush set it's really soft and it blends out easily and it, it blends everything out easily and it's real nice and beautiful it's really soft so i start with the um forehead with the contour yep i like to use i like to put the contour on my own temple and now i'm going to use that powder and put it on top of the foundation spot that i didn't use the other powder in so i'm just use the contour on my cheekbone yeah get that line sharp i'm sorry guys it's my first time doing a voiceover so i'm kind of like you know all over the place but bear with me yes there you go now i'm gonna contour my nose some people would like to use like a smaller brush, but I just use the same brush and just contour my nose and underneath my uh, lip, my jawline. Now we're going to use the cold makeup powder brush. It's like a kabuki brush. It, like, it blends everything out perfectly all in one. And I'm using a Ruby Kisses uh, matte powder in the color chestnut. Everything just matte for me. Like I said before, I have oily skin, so I have to set everything, and everything will control the oil that's on my face. All the powder that I use lasts long, and it really controls all the oil. I go with that powder. I use it underneath the contour line, my neck, my forehead, and just blend out everything. Oh, nice! Looks real perfect. Now I'm gonna use that same eyeshadow blending brush. Go back with the blue. I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes instead of using the eyeliner. You can use eyes. Um, um, sorry guys. You can use eyeshadow underneath the eyes. You know to make your eyes pop. I'm gonna smudge that blue eyeshadow underneath your eyes. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Blend, blend, blend. The key to makeup is blending, guys. Always blend everything together so your makeup will look nice and it will come come real beautiful all in one. Just blend, blend, blend underneath the eyes. Smudge all the color blue underneath the eye. So it will match the top of the eyeshadow. Now, I'm going to use the Marc Jacob Mascara for my bottom lashes. Instead of rubbing, I'm going to like play with the brush and go back and forth, back and forth to make the um, mascara stay on my um, eyeshadow. I'm sorry. Make the mascara... And put it sorry guys I'm gonna put the mascara on, on the bottom lashes so my eyes can really pop I'm so sorry guys I'm messing up it's okay you know it's my first makeup tutorial nobody's perfect so I'm going back with the kabuki brush with the same Ruby Kisses powder I'm gonna make sure everything's blended out once again mm -hmm. so I'm gonna use the makeup revolution highlighting blush on my cheekbones, you gotta pop the cheekbones, girl. Then I'm using the cold makeup flat foundation brush. Since I couldn't find my fan brush for highlight, I'm gonna use that for. I'm gonna use my flat foundation brush for my um blush. You know, that's how my cheeks looking all pinky, look all pretty. You know. Yeah, that blush popping boy. So I'm going to go back with that kabuki brush. I feel like I put too much. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Because I don't want to make too highlighted. So I'm going to use another highlight on top of that blush. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the best highlighter, y'all. The Inglot Sparkling Dust. I'm going to use that same flat foundation brush. And I'm going to put that highlight, that gold highlight on top of my cheekbones whoa look at that glow shine bright like a diamond <laughs> let me stop playing y'all but yeah that sparkling dust boy that thing is sparkling beautiful real nice yep you place that right on top of your blush them cheekbones popping 
I'm sorry, y'all, for my big old pimple. It was right on the way. I tried to pop it, but I'm like, nah, let me just leave it. So, let me just put that highlight over that thing. You feel me? That thing's blinging. All right, now. <laughs> so, I like to use the highlighter and just blend, blend, blend. And I like to put just a little bit on the tip of my nose because I don't want to put too much because I have oily skin, like I said. After like three, four hours, my skin will get oily. So I just put just a little bit on my nose and my cubic bowl. I like to put on my cubic bowl so when it's time for me to put my lipstick, my lips will be popping and they be shining. You feel me? Okay, makeup looking good so far. Going back with that brush, I feel like I put a little bit too much, so I'm going to blend that out just a little bit. Blend, blend, blend. I, want to, I, don't, I do not want to blend too much because I don't want to take out all the highlight that was on my face. So I just take out just a little bit. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Latex Lip Gloss and Nude on my lips. Since I already have a bold look on my eyes, I'm going to go natural on the lip. You know, you don't want to have a blue, pink lips just like your eyes. You're going to look like a drag queen. You're going to look still simple and dramatic at the same time. You don't want to go overboard, which is, you know, pink and green lips when you already have that in your eyes. So I'm just going to be natural with the lip gloss, you know, nice and thick, nice and latex, you know. Beautiful look, beautiful. That's the last part of the makeup is the lipstick. I mean, well, lip gloss. And I'm going to use my setting spray. I'm going to set everything all in one. And that's it, guys. That's my makeup tutorial. Hi.